Damn it, Ratchet, stop shitting on the vendor. <laughs> anyway, hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. In the last part, we started the adventure. And also, crash landed on Planet Nopolis, which is this planet, obviously. This episode, we're gonna head into these waterworks, because why not? Eh? <laughs> right up here. The bolts, they lead the way. To a bomber's pit? Nah. <laughs> That'd be a jerkish, a jerkish move, but whatever. Ooh, man, we got a lot of bolts here, that'd be nice. Alright, bit of wall jumping right here. And up here we have another god bolt. I do know where every god bolt is, so <laughs> don't worry, I know where they all are. I know them like the back of my hand, so it would it won't be that much of a problem to, you know, look for them all. Right, in we go. Screw that guy. Oh. Let's get Pyrocitor out. Burn it hell, motherfucker! <laughs> I love that. Just get a bit of ammo. You never know. Like I said last part, it just feels so weird narrating this, you know? But, yeah. What can you expect? Okay. I don't know why that's there, it doesn't serve anything. A little bit of detail's nice, but still. I don't know, I don't know why this is here either, like you expect it to be like a secret for a gold bolt or something, but it's not. Very weird, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Exciting commentary. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, there we go. Here's we got these crates over here. You never know where we need crates. We need them to store stuff. And of course, we're smashing the ball with the bolts. Come on. Thank you. Thank you, this elevator. I'm actually kind of nervous because because this game auto safe, so like I basically get one chance to narrate it, which obviously is not good. So yeah, this is going to be a bit rough, I bet. Oh! Oh, 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 that was a bit too close. Alright then. I believe we got a cutscene here. I believe... Yes, we do. I'll see you guys in Uno Memento. Dad, blast it! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this goddarn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Mayday, Mayday! This is the solar ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long, kid. Let's M scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. <laughs> I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Gadgetron Infobots give you coordinates for new planets. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, those Infobots, you... They're basically, you need them to get to the next levels in the game, so... Yeah. I just love that line though, just... Plumber's crack, what did you just say? Uh, plumber's back. <laughs> I don't know why, I just love that. Who doesn't love the plumber? He's just such a lovable character. 
Very glad he reappears in the other games. But anyway. No comment. <laughs> Quite literally. Anyway. Screw the elevator! <laughs> right then. I need all the money I can get, so let's see. Well, that guy's an idiot. He's just shooting at one spot, and I'm heading the other way. <laughs> that's just... I mean, I know it's like the first proper level, but still, that's just... weak. Wait, bugs. I have fire. It's super effective. <laughs> I love the, I love that like second noise like that. The, ooh, I love that. Just, ooh, ooh. I don't know why I just always like that. Eh, 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 eh. good. All right. I need all these bolts. This is the most exciting gameplay commentary I've ever seen. You should deserve a bajillion subscribers. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I don't really care about the whole subscriber thing anyway. I don't care if I have like 5 or like 50,000. I'm just doing this for fun, you know? That's what. No, that, that's something that a lot of people forget, you know? Like a lot of like little younger LPs are always like, hey, so welcome back, it'll be great. It's just for fun, you know? You know, F is for friends to do stuff together and use for you and me and all that. I don't know. I don't watch SpongeBob. I think it's a horrible show, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. I digress. I digress. Alright. Ah, this is a little something for later. We'll have to come back for that. Any odd enemies for the win? Ooh, that's gotta hurt that one. Back straight to a tree stump. He's not walking away from that one alive, obviously, because I've already killed him, but yeah. <laughs> Seriously, it's so weird commentating this. Whatever. I ain't cancelling this LP anytime soon. I'm not someone who just cancels LPs. Or puts them on hiatus or whatever. Ooh. There we go. You get a lot of bolts here. Didn't expect that. Yeah. What's this? I like how it just shoots those three bits and doesn't destroy the rest of the bridge. I don't know why. There we go. Just a bomb glove. Do a bit of action. <laughs> Works every time. Right down these stairs. Let's look at these right here. Need thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of bolts for this. Especially for a specific gun later in the game. Okay, I actually need this health. Alright. Okay, there's some crates back here. I may as well get them. There we go. Wow, this is my Crash 1 LP all over again. Me staying silent for like the majority of it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was such a bad LP. I mean, I know it was my first one, but still, that was just... Ugh. Like, I mean, I know I recorded it, the majority of it in one sitting, but still, that was just... bad. Like, after that, I looked at my mistakes, and now I only recorded like two, three episodes of sitting, but still, that's just... Ugh. I don't want to be reminded of that LP. It brings back the bad memories. Got the flamethrower. What's this? Okay. I may as well quick get these bolts just because. You never know where we need the bolts. There we go. Those guys have such bad aim. Seriously, I'm just standing here and they're not attacking. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Oh, yeah. 
Sorry if my voice is a bit weird, I've got a bit of a cold, I don't know why. Like, it's June, it's just starting to June when I'm recording this, and I have a, I have a snotty nose. I don't even know. <laughs> and go for another cutscene, see you guys in a sec. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. So, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on, let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than stirring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic! Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. <laughs> what? Uh, a, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. <laughs> chairman shipliness. Okay. I love Captain Quark, though. That, that guy is freaking hilarious. Like, I know a lot of people hate Captain Quark, but seriously, I think he's freaking hysterical. <laughs> You'll definitely see why later. Anyways, up we go. So yeah, into the ship. Let's see how much time we got? Twelve and a half minutes, pr pretty much. Okay, now it's twelve and a half. Uh, as you can see, here we have we've completed all the missions. If you're wondering, you can't get that final gold bolt until later. So yeah. Uh. How about we head to Aridia? Yes, why don't we? Locate skin box, find skin's agent. Let's go. Jeez, this is going to be one of the hardest ones for me to do because it auto saves, so pretty much I get one chance of narrating it because. Back when I did my Clonor LP, like I usually did like a practice recording, and I did I just left it at the same screen to see if it worked or not. But here, oh boy, this is gonna be rough. And oh man, that looks so good. Like this is like a pre-early PS2 game. There, that's really good. Hey, what have we got? Nothing new. Uh, right then. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna call an episode here. My apologies if it's a bit short, but yeah, what can you do? We finished the whole planet, and you know what? We're gonna start on this one next time. Next time, let's play Ratchet and Clank. We're gonna do that. See you guys then.